Hey y'all, welcome back. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Okay, I just came real fast to uh, go into this kit and play with it real quick. And uh, I wanna do that with y'all on camera. All right, this is a dip powder system by the brand Azura. Azura? Azure. Beauty, okay. You can purchase this kit off Amazon Prime. I will leave the link down in the description by below. But this here is a mood dip powder system kit meaning that the colors changes okay and i have let me open this kit up real fast oh, hold on but i said it should be very exciting to have some colors change on you okie dokie this is a nice little kit too y'all so let me show you what this kit consists of we have this nice little Whatever you want to call this little thing here. It ain't no brochure or pamphlet or nothing. It's just, hey, you can hang this on your wall if you're a big old dip powder fan. I was about to say freak, but you know, I have to, you know, choose my words carefully, you know, but yeah. But here on this here side, you have the instructions on how you use the kit. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. So we're not going to go into all of that. But if you must take a pause, girl, go on and pause it and read it if you have to. Okay. All right. Now, I'm not saying that because I don't know how to read. I'm just saying it because I just ain't got time to be sitting up here reading. I got things I got to do. It's the holiday time. Folks got to keep on moving and grooving. You know what I mean? You know. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Now, I'm just trying to get this little video up, up and out of here real fast. But um, just, just to assure you, if you really need to know how to use dip powder kits, baby, there's a million, million and one videos out here on YouTube. So you can just go on here and scroll how you use dip powder kits. And I have many of them posted as well. All right. So this kit consists of four different powders as you see me remove them from the box here we have a gray a green a pink and a burgundy and um i don't really know exactly what colors they are supposed to change into but i'm gonna test that out right now real fast because i'm very curious to see how they would change because these are some pretty colors and uh yeah but what looks good on the inside may not look good on the outside. You, hey, girl, hold on. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to get back with this here. Look, let me show you what else he got. And he got a bond. It have a base. It has an activator. It has a top coat. And it also has a brush saver. And these are all 15 mil bottles. Okay. You have a file here. Nice, cute, spongy file. This is a 600 by 3000. I have never heard of a 600 by 3000. Maybe I'm a little slow. I don't know, but that's what this is. But it seemed to be a nice little file buffer thing. But I like how they got the name on it. All right, Azure. Azure. All right. Keeping up, eh? Yeah. All right, and it also has a 100 by 180 file as well. Okay. And it has the name on it too. I like, I like, I like, I like. Ah, can't get this out of your grill with these nails on. Hold on. I mean, cute push of some sort. All right, there we go. <laughs> These things always seem to work, girl. Yes, yeah, so what we have here is a... Yeah, I'm just looking on this camera real fast. Hold on. Okay, so what we have here is a... Um... Uh, um all right, so what we have here is a cuticle pen. Okay, you take this here and you put it around your little edges. Y'all see I got my nails on, so I cannot demonstrate this here kit on myself today. And uh, uh, I really don't want to go doing it on my practice hands because I don't I don't want to get no powder and nothing all up in her fingers. That's just, just not going to happen. So y'all just going to have to work with me today if you don't mind. I try and... Hold on, girl. What the hell is down in here? Is this some, somebody's hair? Ew, what the hell is that? Somebody's hair? Oh, hell yeah, that's somebody's hair. Hold on, y'all. Mm. Ew. Shoot. Ew. Hold on. I don't like when folks send me their hair. That's the most disgusting thing, girl. 
I don't know where this little piece of hair came from. And I'm throwing these tweezers clean into barber sad. Hold on. I ain't tossing my tweezers. I ain't that crazy. They gotta toss my tweezers. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to disinfect these here, y'all. I'm gonna have to disinfect these. Hold on, let me wrap it up real fast. Don't, don't please don't say I'm doing too much, y'all. Just get freaked out when it comes to hair. I just don't like to see hair particles. No way, that's just my own little pet peeve. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Whatever, you know. Y'all might be like, oh, you're doing too much. Whatever. Okay. All right, and then we have a brush here. That's down up in here like that, okay? So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pull this little brush out the box here. And then I'm going to demonstrate on these here little things here. Oh, wait a minute, I knocked my tip off. Girl, I'm all over the place. I'm messing all up. I'm going to demonstrate this here real fast on these little things. Now, I got some, what you call it, um, pink stuff. Where is it at? Here you go. Hold on. I got some of this here, uh, sticky back stuff here, but uh, I didn't use it. I just used some double-sided tape because that little pink stuff was looking kind of funny to me. I mean, you know, going in using it. I guess it'll be okay for other occasions, but this here occasion just didn't seem to look too. Girl, I don't know what I'm trying to say over here. I'm just all over the place. Hold on, y'all. I'm still stuck on this old stupid piece of hair all up in my box. I don't like that, girl. <laughs> Hold on. Let me remove these jobbers. Well, I got to be careful. I'm going to pop it across the room. Girl. Hold on. I can't do none of these nails on. Well, you can do some things. Some things is difficult. Hold on, let me get them out, y'all. I apologize for this. I hope y'all. Ooh, don't be tripping. Whatever you is tripping, go somewhere else and trip. Don't come over here tripping on me. Girl, give me a minute. <laughs> all right, I'm back. I got all these little jabbers out of the box there. So, uh, yeah. Now let me uh go ahead and try and see what I'm gonna do here, cause I think I'm gonna. Yeah, well, we're going to dip them. Hold on, y'all, because I got stuff everywhere. I hope I don't have to use these little pink things here because I'm huh, messing up. Hold on, let me get some paper towel. I apologize. I'm just all over the place, y'all. I should have been prepared, but I'm not. I apologize. They're going to keep on saying I apologize. Yeah, y'all watch me, watch me. Don't click off. <laughs> anyway, happy holidays. <laughs> Like, this girl got some issues. Like, sure, she need a hug. Anyway, so I might have to go back in and use this old crazy looking sticky back stuff because this double sided tape is just not working. So just, just work with me. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this bond. Oh, okay. Well, be quiet because I'm on camera. You hear me? All right. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this bond. And I'm gonna apply it to the nail. Hmm. Second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this base. But before I do, let me open up my powder. I'm going to go in with this sick color first. They don't have any names on them. So I don't know what color this is. Hold on. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to be able to pull this off. Oh, yeah, I yeah. thought I was going to have to use this razor, but I don't. Oh, it's a cute little blue. All right. So I'm going to... So I'm going in now with the base. Add the base to the nail. Now because the nail is so long, I won't be able to dip it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this little spoon and just scoop it up and onto the nail.
I'm going with this brush, dust it off. Go in again with the base. Do that again one more time. Go in with the base. Okay. And we'll go in again with the powder. Activator. Last and final step, we go in with the top coat. See, I noticed when I added the top coat, the color starts to change. It's gonna change back as soon as the top coat dry and you're gonna see that beautiful blue color reappear. Wow, <laughs> that's cute, I like that. All right, I'm gonna sit this one to the side until it dry. Or I can sit it right here so y'all can watch it. <laughs> Change back colors. See if it'll stand up on its own. All right, on with the next one. I'm gonna go in with this pretty little pink color. Again, I say they don't have names on them, just numbers. And then, you know, they come with the kit. So the first thing again will be the bond, okay? Be careful with these uh, razor blades if you have any. I don't want you to go cutting yourself. All right, now we go in with the base.
go. I'm going to let this here sit for maybe about a half a minute or a whole minute. Let it dry. In the mission time, baby. All right, intermission is over. That should be dry by now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this uh, top coat. Okay. Now that's gonna go into changing colors. This one changed back. And I already did the green one off camera. So I'm gonna move this here one to the side and let it do what it do. I'm gonna knock it over. If it fall over, I'm gonna move it. Now we're gonna go in with this color here. See how that's changing? <laughs> Shake it up. Nice little burgundy. I'm a dark sad, but it's cute. Look at that change. That's cute. Now, if it sit there long enough, y'all gonna see it change back to the original color. Okay, so we going in again first with the bond. Okay. This is fun. Isn't this fun, guys? Glad y'all came by to see me today. I miss y'all. I know it's been a couple of days. Needless to say, it's the holidays. Ooh, Lord, this stuff is strong. Y'all already know how those holidays can be. Yeah. I have a haul video coming up uh, shortly. Should be next. Okay. So the second one will be the base.
All right, y'all, so one thing you must know about the dip powder systems, if you're not familiar with the dip powder system, if you want to extend the product's life, you got to make sure the rim of your bottles are clean and you have to wipe them down with alcohol, meaning that you have to clean the rim around here with alcohol, okay? And also, if your brushes become hard or stiff, you can use your brush saver, meaning that Say for instance, if my base was hard, base brush was hard and stiffened, I can take it out of here and put it in here, okay? This here is what's supposed to bring your brush back to life, okay? Now one thing y'all didn't see me do throughout this video and that's swipe the brush back and forth, you know, like that on a towel to get some of the color out of it. And that's something I probably should have did, but I didn't do. So let me switch brushes back here. <laughs> but you might want to do that too as well. Okay. So make sure you store your stuff in a nice, cool, dry area. Do not let it get to any direct sunlight because if it do, it could damage your products okay and there are uh yeah so but make sure you clean the rims of your jars after every use of the dip powder system make sure you go around it nice well i would suggest a q-tip saturated with some alcohol and just go around the rim of your jars just to keep them from you know what i'm saying drying up the stuff drying up product drying up around the bottles is what i'm trying to say there. That way you get a long life out of your products, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and let this here one dry. This is about the only one that's not changing once I added the top coat, because it should have been changing by now. And this one taking forever and a day to change back. All right, here's the green one here. I did this here one off camera, like I mentioned before. And this one is the blue one. Now the thing about these dip powders, what I really like about these dip powders is they're thermal. Look, you can touch it. And Voila, they change. I ain't heck yay. And this is the color of the green. And, uh, see, it turns to light green. Isn't that cute? I love these. These are so cute. And this one, of course, is that nice pink, but it turns into this peach. And it won't turn back. It needs to turn back. But look, you can touch it, girl. <laughs> You could touch it, mama, and it changes colors. All right, I want to see what this here burgundy one do whenever it dries. It looks like it's dry. It's dry. I didn't file this one. It looked like it needed to be a little buffed or whatever, but I didn't go through all that because uh, this is a practice stick, so I'm not going through all that. But if you was to do your nails, of course, you would want to file that little humpy bumpy thing out of there. And this one don't seem to be changing. What's going on? This one freckle neck a bull. Hold on. What color do this one supposed to change? Supposed to be turned into a dark burgundy, I believe. Hold on. Let me look at this little website. Hold on, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a darker, a darker burgundy. I don't know, girl. Anyway, this one ain't got too much of changing on it here. Yeah, this one don't change too much, y'all. But as y'all see these other ones, they do just fine and changing. All right. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this little dip powder kit. I seem to like it. The only thing I can say that I don't like about these dip powder kits is, honey, if you got a nose for this here, you can take a whiff and stand a whiff of them, honey. Kudos to you. But this stuff, boy, it smells so strong to me. Be bringing tears to my eyeballs, okay? Now, for the question that has been asked to me. Can you use dip powders as acrylic powders? Not all dip powders you can use as acrylic powders, okay? So that's, I don't know how you would go by using this here brand, but you cannot use this brand here as acrylic powders. Not unless you probably can mix some clear acrylic with it and hey then boom bam pie y'all you good to go but just trying to apply it to a nail and uh waiting on it to dry you'll be waiting for decades baby it's not gonna dry 
Okay, so I wouldn't, I, I, it just didn't dry for me, okay? Let me see, let me see. Let's try and put this to the test so I can show y'all what I'm talking about here. All right, to show y'all what I'm talking about here, I'm gonna demonstrate with this green real fast. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna move these to the side. I'm gonna go in. We're gonna try to show you what I'm talking about here. You cannot use these for acrylic powders, okay? That's how it picks up. This is how I will apply it to the nail. See that white marbling up in there? I don't know what that is. Cause I thought I mixed this job pretty good. All right. Now that's how that powder will look if you try to use it as regular acrylic, all right? It's not too cute, is it? Nah, it's not, I ain't think so. I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna show you that it will not dry, okay? It will not dry. It's been 15 minutes, y'all. This is the dip powder with monomer. It will not dry, okay? That's it. So you cannot use this brand as a acrylic. Not unless, like I say, you mix it with some clear acrylic. That just may work. But I don't feel like doing all that. So I just want to show y'all that you cannot use this here with. You cannot use this as color acrylic, all right? Not this brand, not this brand. I have another brand over here. I'm gonna come back shortly and we're gonna do a review on that one because they say you can use theirs as a color acrylic. So we're going to put that one to the test. Y'all, but these here again are the colors. Y'all tell me what y'all think about them. I like them. Still got the little pink tacky stuff up on it, but hey, that's what it is. All right. All right, y'all, so that's my time, y'all. I'm gonna get back with y'all in a minute with another video. All right, so, uh. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all and to all a good night. 